blasting off on a mission to Earth's orbit. This rocket is carrying a laboratory module, one of two outstanding components of China's space station. When the final piece is launched later this year, Chen Gong will be fully operational. China has made its ambitions clear. It wants to catch up with the US and Russia to become a powerhouse in space technology. The figures are really startling. Um, the Americans are still by far the world leaders in the number of rockets that they launch, but China is catching up very, very quickly. They're now also aiming at a human presence in space, which has two purposes, one scientific, but the other, of course, is prestige. The project has enormous political significance. It's been a priority for President Xi Jinping. He's poured billions of dollars into China's space program. And the completion of Chengong is set to coincide with another milestone, his 10th year in office. China's goals go well beyond Earth's orbit. A manned moon mission could be on the cards by the end of the decade. I would have laughed at this as an idea three or five years ago, but now we have to take everything that China says very seriously indeed. The first building blocks for the project, the mission that will land the first Chinese people on the moon is already under construction. They've shown us pictures in the factory uh, of the modules. So this is going to happen. They won't have a base on the moon by the end of this decade, but there is now a realistic possibility that a Chinese woman or a Chinese man could be the next person to set foot on the moon. China has been excluded from the International Space Station since 2011, when the US banned NASA from working with it. That's only heightened Beijing's desire to establish a station of its own. And as China continues to reach for the stars, there's no telling what else its space program might achieve in the decades to come. Vincent Monaghan, Al Jazeera.